The Great War through a London child's eye. September 21st, 1914. And so another week begins. Never mind the exciting tales of adventure in my boy's own magazine. My day starts when I have a wash in a bowl of water in my bedroom and empty my chamber pot in the bathroom. Not quite as exciting. I'll have a little wash every day and sometimes I might even have a bath in the week if I become terribly dirty from playing. But we all bathe on Saturday night because it is church on Sunday. But today is Monday. Time for breakfast. Kippers are my favourite. Elbows off the table, darling. Edward? You'll be late at this rate, Dreamy. And I mustn't be late either. I had to wait an hour for a bus yesterday. There were none to be had. That is hardly surprising, is it, dear? All the bus drivers have joined up, and I've read that the buses are also being used in the war effort. Well, since the stock exchange closed, there is precious little of value in me going in at all. I am thinking I may just join up too. The stockbrokers have their very own regiment, you know. Yes, father. That would be frightfully exciting. You must join the army. But they're only asking for volunteers, dear. You are married and over 40. Even still, with my languages, I could be of great use in the officer corps. Talking of which, I read in the newspaper how they are desperate for big houses to use as hospitals for the wounded soldiers. Might... Your mother oil her enormous front gates and open them a crack for our men? I very much doubt it. I believe Napoleon the Cat has claimed most of the territory as his own. <laughs> but I shall be doing my part. We have been knitting like mad at church. Gloves and scarves for the troops. They will need them as the weather gets colder. Good show, darling. Now, come on, Edward, old man. Time for school. Some things never change. Take school. Chanting endless lists of kings and queens, countries in the empire, and a rap on the knuckles with a cane if you are not smart enough with your answers. Ow. Then copying the lessons from the blackboard. With no mistakes, no matter how much blotting paper I use, I always make a mess with my pen and ink. The only thing that makes a day worthwhile is drill and sport. Class, fall in. I Drill is not so bad. It is just running and jumping. We are doing more of it than ever. Mr Jones says it is what soldiers do. Some of the older boys will be officers in the army, and so must be fit as fiddles. And then there is my favourite sport of all, rugby. As our masters tell us, good sportsmen make excellent soldiers. All the more reason to play hard, I say. On the way home from school, I could see the park was full of children from the school that Mrs. Barry's children went to. It is not as grand as my school. Mother says that the meal they get at school is the only meal they have each day. Can you imagine that? The children were planting vegetables in the park. Everyone is doing their bit to make sure we all have enough whilst we are at war. Then who should appear but Sidney Parry, Mrs. Parry's youngest son? He is a diamond, or that is the sort of thing he says. Old man, you been at school? Nah, hop in the wag. Not my fault. Mother sent me queuing at the grocer's again. Everything's running short. Here, we got word from our John this week. He's finished his training, and it's off to the front. He's in the pink about it all. What do you think of that? Goodness, how exciting. You must be awfully proud. Too right. Mother keeps crying, though. He's put her in such a flap. Keeps guessing about how she shan't read the words here. About how she worries. So Dad and me catch it in the ear. Poor Mrs. Parry. Has he sent many letters? Well, you see, he's not bothered with writing so much. He must be having so much fun. I bet. Mrs Parry doesn't need to worry. I am sure. John is the bravest boy I know. Well, he's a man, not a boy. Especially now he is a fully trained soldier. I feel a little sorry for Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to join up too, you know. Went along with him, but they pulled me right out the queue. They laughed so hard, I swear. Good as nearly swung a punch. <laughs> Come on, I'll race you to the corner, Fatty. I almost wish Father would join up. He would write the most terrifically exciting lessons to us. I just know he would. The Great War, through a London child's eye. Supported by the National Lottery, through the Heritage Lottery Fund.